Hey guys, today we're preparing a dish that's very, very simple. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of the underdog because it's a sandwich that I never see people order and I don't know why. It's the BLT, but we're gonna take it up a few levels and make it something that you've never had before because this is not your grandmother's or mama's BLT. And I'm gonna show you why. We're actually already sauteing some red onions here. And what I've done is I've put them in olive oil, balsamic, and Worcestershire sauce. And let them kind of uh, simmer down until they're very, very flexible. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's hot, it's oozing, and you can see these things like just moving like crazy. This is actually gonna be what makes this BLT. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we probably shouldn't call it a BLT. We should call it a bolt because it's bacon, onion, lettuce, and tomato. So, and what I think really makes a good sandwich is of course the bread. And I like sourdough for my BLTs because it has that really soft center and crusty outside. And I think it's important to have a soft center for this type of sandwich because you have so many, so many elements that are fighting against each other. You see the bacon falling out most of the time. But a good soft bread is like a pillow or a nice bed. You jump in and you just sink in and it holds it all together. And so that's what the sourdough bread is gonna do. We're gonna take the bread and we're gonna actually first mix our topping or sauce, and this sauce consists of about three tablespoons of mayonnaise, one and a half tablespoons of goat cheese, and one tablespoon of pesto sauce. We mix that all into this bowl now. This is the best combination ever. I don't know how much of you guys love pesto sauce, but it is the bomb. I really use it on almost everything. Blend, 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 blend. And it mixes pretty well because all of the elements are really, really soft. And actually chunky is not bad. I don't mix it until it's completely smooth. I like those little elements of chunk and cheese that go on top of the sandwich. After I mix everything to my liking, you spread. I've toasted lightly the outside, but not so much the inside because like I said, I wanted to hold all the elements in. You spread it real thick. I mean, cause you don't want this to hide. This is, this is the great part of the sandwich. This is the masterpiece, is this sauce. Put it on both sides, toast side on the out, the outer portion. See, it's really still chunky. Mmm, that looks so good. I just want to sneak a taste right now. Mmm, that's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, and next, oh, should I do the bacon yet? We'll save that for last. I'm actually going to do the tomatoes. I've already sliced some tomatoes. I sliced them nice and thick and juicy. This is what's making it the ultimate BLT. It's nice and pretty. You take some of these beautiful onions. Maybe I should get another spoon. Here we go. Let's get some of these beautiful onions. These red, luscious onions. And let's put on the side. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. And I mean, pile it on. Don't be afraid. I mean, the messier, the better. Wow. And bacon, last. And the key to picking good bacon, I must say, is, you know, really being an investigator. You, you see the bacon, they always show the meaty portion on the bottom. The key is to turn it over, and there's this little space on the back that kind of show, that shows you the whole piece of the bacon. And if you see more white than you see red, you know you need to move on to the next pack. This was a nice selection here. Already fried the bacon. Once you fry the bacon, you definitely want to make sure that you put it on a napkin so it can soak up all the oil. And don't be shy with the bacon. I mean, pile it on. Ooh, maybe I should do it that way. Yikes. After I dry my beautiful butter lettuce, I am going to slap it on top of my sandwich. Now we have a BLT. Oh, 
Is that not amazing or what? This sandwich is slap your mama good. Now feast your eyes on this. Not everybody can handle this type of sandwich. You gotta use two hands. Ooh! Oh, look at those tomatoes. And that onion. Oh, the colors are really pretty. Mmm. Crispy bacon, soft tomato, and a nice pillow of bread just makes this the perfect sandwich. And you're not gonna get this in any restaurant, but you can certainly see that you can make it at home. I hope that I've shown you one more quick and easy recipe to add to your arsenal so that you know that as long as you take each recipe, one ingredient at a time, cooking ain't so bad. Next time.